सब्सक्राइब टू गेट करेड एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर अपडेट्स Rajasthan is known for its palaces and also for its royal regal cuisine. Today, let's pull out a gem from that. Hey guys, it's Varun Namdar and welcome to Get Curried. Today, let's make mas ke sule. Let's begin. Well, mas ke sule for the uninitiated are kebabs made out of escalopes of goat meat. Well, escalopes are these thin slices of boneless goat meat. So, the first thing is to get boneless meat and cut these into thick slices, something like this. Well, you can even cut these thinner, but we are going to use a tenderizer which is papaya. So, thick is just perfect. The next thing is to actually make a marination paste. I'm going to use fried onions. These go straight in the grinder. The next thing is some ginger. I've just kind of scraped it lightly. Followed by some cloves of garlic. Like I said earlier, the tenderizer in this case are raw papaya. Raw papaya is just being cut into slices with its skin on, which is extremely important because that contains an enzyme called papain. So let's add this. While all you need to do in this case is follow the recipe with precision, which is written in details in the description box below. Do not add an extra papaya in the wake of making it further tender because that will disintegrate the meat. Don't blame me after that. The next is to add in garam masala because we need it a little spicy. Well, I'm not making it extremely spicy, but of course you can take your personal call. You can also add in a chili in this case, but for me this is just perfect. A touch of turmeric powder and finally to this I'm adding in red chili powder. Well, red chili again is the variety that gives you good color as well as flavor so remember that let's grind this into a smooth paste but without adding any water let's scrape the sides at this stage we'll also add in some oil because that is going to make this paste nice and smooth also at this stage do not forget adding salt salt again if you can use coarse salt that's going to further help in grinding this nice and fine but table salt is just perfect another few ingredients that need to be added the first one is of course fried cashew nuts for that enveloping creamy aroma and finally to this juice of half a lime Our spice paste is done and ready. Let's transfer this onto the escalopes or slices of goat meat. Well, at this stage, of course, you can check for salt. You can check for seasoning. If there's anything less or more, you can adjust it accordingly. Mix this well till every slice of goat meat gets well enveloped. This is mixed well. The next step, of course. is to heat a pan well you can of course use a pan you can use a tawa you can use a griddle a hot plate that's completely a personal choice you can also use a barbecue or roast this in an oven at 200 degrees celsius 20 minutes is just perfect but today i'm using a griddle pan swirl the oil across the pan and allow it to heat well enough in the interim let's skewer the escalopes of goat meat well i'm using these wooden skewers which have been soaked in water for at least 10 to 15 minutes so that they kind of do not burn the next step is to poke it at one of the ends and form like a wave pattern something like this the next step is of course to grill this nice and slow 15 minutes and just perfect start flipping these after like a minute till they are beautifully caramelized and well done with this of course the flame and mas ke sule are done and ready so next time you have your friends or family over treat them royally with mas ke sule on that note do not forget to like share and subscribe get curried